So hello everyone, welcome to yet another video. This is Matthew Jones and uh, it's been a while I know and today I got some good news, some great news for DV2020 and in this video I'll be sharing, I'll be talking about two topics. That is one about the breaking news about the DV2020s and the second I'll be talking more about the DV2021 winners. So to start with, I'll be straight and straightforward to the key, uh, to the point. So. DV 2020s, you guys know that there was a proclamation that was imposed on April 22nd, that is way back 2020. And that proclamation was restricting of, you know, entrance of new immigrants to the United States. So, DV 2020s who got visas from then have been restricted from, you know, entering into the United States. And you guys know we have been having some, you know, court proceedings here and there, back and forth. And, Finally, we got some good news for you guys that the proclamation as of now has been revoked by the current United States president. So, this is some good news because now if you have your visa with you, you can travel as soon as possible. Uh, but there are some two key points I would like to talk about for those who are preparing to travel. Before you travel, make sure that you have a copy of that proclamation as you can see on your screen this is a proclamation from the president and it was made on the 24th 24th of february 2021 uh this uh the suspension of entry imposed by a proclamation you know the story all it's all here and the key point here is down here from this point you can see therefore I, Joseph Biden, whatever, uh -huh, President of the United States, authority, uh -huh, vested, all that. The key point here is that the proclamation has been revoked and now you can travel. But the key points that I would like to talk about to you guys is that uh, when, you are do, uh, when you are taking, when you are preparing to travel, make sure to print out this proclamation because uh, most of the airports they are not even aware about the, this breaking news so because it's just took place a few days ago so they might not be aware of what is going on and they might still restrict you from boarding the flight so please have it uh, you can print this document uh, i'll attach a link on the description of this video where you can get the document please print it have it with you at the uh, at the airport where you'll be traveling from uh, the next point is that make sure to have a COVID-19 test results that is taken three days prior the day you're planning to travel. So by that it means if you're traveling like on a Thursday, then you have to have some COVID-19 test results that shows negative that were taken not before that previous Monday. I hope you guys understand that. Not more than three days prior the day you are traveling. I hope that one is clear and if you still have some question about it, let me know in the comment section. So on the other side, let's talk about the DV2021. Uh, DV2021 winners, I know you have been waiting for quite a long time and, you know, impatient and all that. Something I have to still talk about, KCC is still sending requests for support document. I've been getting question about that. Please be patient. The other thing is that uh, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe now with the proclamation being revoked, KCC soon will start sending the second newsletters to the winners. So I'm not sure when they will start, but most likely I suspect, this is my assumption, they will start maybe on ne early next month, and that will be on March. And once they start sending second newsletter, the 2NL, this will be interviews to be held on May. Remember, there is always that one month period of time to prepare for yourself so that you can have your interview. So guys be patient I, I i this is my thoughts because you people have been asking me what i think about it i think kcc will start scheduling 20 dv 2021 interviews so you have to be one you have to be your case number has to be current you have you must have submitted all the support documents and they must have been confirmed so that now you can be scheduled for an interview and the other thing Another question comes, whether the um, public charge form is still in the request. Uh, currently, the public charge form was removed, but we are not sure about the future. So for now, you don't need it. Even it's not available on the government official page. So for now, what you need, once you get the note, second newsletter, please go through it 
read it and understand and if you don't understand something please ask uh, the key word, uh, the key point here is that once you get the second newsletter it's good there is always uh, information about the embassy where you will be attending the interview the address the phone number and everything even the uh, direction everything will be available there the second thing there will be uh, the name and the address of the hospital where you should take your medicals i hope you are clear up to that point there is always one thing the date where your date for the interview and before that date you will have to schedule an appointment with the hospital to take some uh, medical test before you attend the interview so there are two addresses one for the embassy and the other one for the hospital that you should attend the medicals so you have to be careful so before you attend the interview make sure you contact the embassy contact them ask them to specify the documents the list of documents that are expected for you to have when you are attending the interview this is to avoid you some delays like you attend the interview with missing some documents and that will delay your case because you'll be like told to go and bring so and so so it buys more time for that and we don't have that time so if you're there you're planning or you are dividend into one winner please once you give the second newsletter contact the embassy first let them they always they can always send they always reply and they will let you know the highlights of the documents you need to have with that you'll be at least be positive when you're attending the interview have everything with you so once you attend the interview i wish you all the best and i hope this interview will start as soon as possible so the other thing we don't have time we don't have like time for every case to be interviewed you know the fiscal year for the DV 2021 will be about up to 21st of September, uh, the end of September this year. So we don't have like, I don't think so. I don't think they can schedule or they can, you know, interview all case numbers. But the other thing is that I'm not even sure how many case numbers will be interviewed per month. So we have to wait and see. But still there is some court proceeding here and there trying to, you know, fight for that so that more visas can be you know like be secluded or can be spared because it's not your fault it's not anyone's fault that the time will lapse before you get interviews so there are some court cases that are trying to you know spare your visas and they can maybe like be extended so let's wait let's be positive and I wish you all the best guys so if you have still more questions especially for the dv 2020 winners who got visas let me know in the comment section and you guys thank you for watching this video and see you in our next one